Hey guys, I'm Cody, and you're watching Basquatch. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, really short and sweet video today. Um, last night on one of our catfishing videos, um, there was a gentleman who requested a video covering my little homemade um, bait tank that I carry around with me catfishing. So, without further ado, we'll get into it. The base of the whole thing is an igloo nine quart cooler that I picked up at Walmart. It was like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. I think they're cheaper now. Um, the handle, don't mind the handle because after a year and a half of hard use, the plastic handle finally broke on me. My bake tank finally broke, that's crazy. So I just, I took a five gallon bucket handle and I made it work. So anyway, with that, the, the second, the really the main part of it other than the cooler itself is this is a uh, bubble box. Uh, I think it's a bubble box two. I really can't recall. Um, another cheap like 10 or $15 item you can find at Walmart or other outdoor stores, stuff like that. So really cheap aerator. Um, how I ran that, I took it all apart. I took the um, case apart and I screwed it to the cooler from the inside. So that's how it's attached. And then I drilled a hole and I ran the aerator hose through it and I sealed it off with some silicone. And then down here, all I did, that's just like a, a eye screw, a screw eye. And I ran the hose through that and silicone that. That way the bubble stone stays at the bottom of the cooler. So that's really simple how that's done. On the top, this is a cheap, the cheapest cutting board I could get at Walmart. I bought and I trimmed it to fit and screwed it down. Um, pretty, pretty simple there. I got... I didn't want the the um, lid to keep falling off. I attached it with screws on each side. On this side, I got my Whisker Seeker bait and um, braid scissors. I keep them right there. They come with this nice little plastic sheath that I attach to the side of the cooler. So, and attach the lanyard on there with a the screw, as you see. Really, really simple. Um, and then I just, I got tired of carrying around this bright red cooler with me. Um, so I took some spray paint and I camouflaged it a little bit. So there you have it. My really cheap, but really effective bait. Oh, sorry. I didn't think it was recording. My really cheap and really effective bait cooler. Um, this little bubble box, I've been running on the same batteries all year, so they're really efficient. Yeah, it's not big enough for a lot of bait, but I've had 12 to 15 gills in there at any given time, and they won't last overnight like that, crammed up like that, but they will, will last for several, several hours. I've done a lot of overnight, um bank fishing trips with it and uh yeah so i hope that answers any of your questions that you have about about that particular piece of equipment so and if it helps go down and check in the description of this video and i will have all of the items linked in there and we can't stress it enough guys if you have a question about something or anything like that that you see in our content put it in the comments drop us a comment we'll see it we'll read it and we'll answer it so we love interacting with you guys or go over to our um, Instagram page and shoot us a comment or something like that we're happy to help so thanks for watching till next time Stay wild.